Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we looked up last time, we were just outside the tower looking around, we'd got some rewards for saving some tieflings, and now I'm going to go talk to uh, Disciples' Israel and see what she's got going on. We are also going to be laying siege to this tower very soon. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples' Israel. Everyone, keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins, tell me how they suffered. No, better yet, show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. She's going to be upset about she this. She sees the goblins walking free. And a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. Explain yourself. You said I could do whatever I wanted with them, so I did. I didn't expect you to do that. I was hoping you'd be able to help with something more important, but you're only fit to muck out the jail cells. Good, I'll free the rest of the prisoners while I'm down there. I'm going to have to teach you some obedience. How oh, is that a disapproval statement from everyone else? Well, time to do some murder. Disciples Rel is pretty tough, but this is going to save us a fight later against her, so that's fine. So the Mistress of Souls is up first. Let's get in to that fight and start smacking her around a little. We did critically miss our first attack. That's not an ideal first attack, but that's okay. Uh, Karlak being so close in melee is a little bit unfortunate. She's almost dead, but she is going to get her spell off, whatever she casts. We are definitely not letting her fireball that, because... That was a lot of spell casting there. Incubate death? Oh, if we don't kill that thing, it's going to make more skeletons or something. Let's just shoot it with an offhand attack. Let's just shoot it with a second. Did I just shoot the chandelier? Oh, okay. Fine, whatever. Kill that. Finish her off. Move back. We should have done way more damage to everything else in this fight, but that wasn't meant to be. Eight damage isn't a whole lot, but that's fine. We do have a level 2 spell remaining, that's not great. We could just start by fireballing this back line, though. How do we have a fireball if we don't have a level... Must be from the staff. Or something. Armor of Agathis went off. Disciples Rail took some damage, but isn't dead. Not even close. Black Hole did something. That was interesting. We are stuck in melee now. We don't have a level 3 spell, so we can't do Guardian Spirits, or Spear Guardians. We could do Bless, which might be the best idea, a level 2 one. And we got Counterspelled, so no Bless for us, apparently. I'm gonna cure Minor Wounds on Karlak. We're getting a reach from beyond it a little bit. The scrying eye just summoned reinforcements, which means we are going to have some hefty enemies coming our way. That's fine. Zrel is very nearly dead. Did we have less secondary actions this time? What happened to our other attack? It's fine, whatever. Um, Gale, sh probably won't be able to finish her off, but we'll try our best. Could we stop rolling critical misses? That would be. Why do we only have one attack? Do we have a debuff of some sort? We're slowed. That's what it is. That's what's causing this problem. I see. Okay. This is fine. Slowed has worn off. 
We do have Scorching Ray. We could possibly kill her with it. It's not super likely, though. That said, it's best we got, so let's take a look. We hit her for almost enough damage, but not quite. That hurt. That was a lot of damage. He is now dead. We are blinded? Oh no, we aren't blinded anymore. We're gonna need to have some healing though. We should probably kill that thing before it actually manages to summon something, but it seems to not be doing that yet. Finish that one off. I don't think we're slowed anymore, so let's just start picking. Really helpful if we didn't critical miss all of our attacks, though. We're rolling a lot of them this fight. And Adept Nola has joined the fight. She's coming up. It's not the worst enemy to get, but that's okay. I think we'll focus fire the crying eye next. There's also a zealot real whatever coming in. No damage. Worth a shot, but didn't work. No damage. These things are annoying to hit. Right, just continue on through then. Go fight that one. Okay, it's finally dead. Adept Nola is still on her way up, and the Zealot's already up here, so... This is fine, it's going okay. Seven damage. So there's two more coming up, it looks like. Eight hole damage. Missed its thunderous smite both times. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna let them come upstairs. Or do I just come down here and shoot them? Uh, path is blocked. Probably won't be able to, so just wait for them to get up here. She is dashing to get up here, which is good. Mine is the advantage. Eleven damage. We should be able to kill him off this round, I think. got 11 hit points left. If we can hit it with our off and shot, which we should be able to, except it came back to life, so well, let's refinish it off. One hit point left. That figures. Carlac took the hit. Back to life again. Another parasite collected. Okay. It might be useful. We successfully killed all of them. I don't know if the camp is going to be mad at us for that. I don't know if they even noticed the Time big fight up here, it. but it's possible. It's possible they're going to want our blood. And you know what? We kind of deserve it. We did kill all of them. 
But let's loot Disciple Zrel. She might have some good stuff. She has the Absolute's Protector. If the wielder bears the Absolute's brand, all damage received from spells is reduced by one. When a foe knocks or hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to knock them prone. And Fire Shield Chill. It's an okay shield. It's not the best, but it's not bad by any measure. Give the rest of these to Gale. We'll take the thing. Send the studded leather away. We'll keep Balthazar's room key. I don't think the Necromites have anything of value on them. Just bones, right? And a, apparently a ring. A terrible ring. Uh, Zrel's personal reminder on the body of the ogre. Balthazar has sent neither word nor notice. When he's gone, or wherever he's gone, is a mystery. Need someone to investigate his chambers, but no he's rigged the thing to hide hells. Perhaps pop goblins. And a Mirkolite Scourge, which is a plus one morning star. Alright, let's go look around elsewhere. We'll take a look downstairs to see if we've woken up everybody. Apparently they don't care that we're in here, even though... Well, we know that for a fact that this camp apparently doesn't care too much. Stopped by a guard. It seems your presence here is forbidden. Okay, I'm sorry. Try and talk your way out of it. You can just add guidance and even a bardic inspiration. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we're we're threatening our way out. Your words are enough to resolve the matter. Still, you need to leave. You got it. We'll go in a different way. Not a problem. Should you transgress again, your efforts to talk yourself out of trouble will be of little use. Okay. I'm working on it. I'll leave. We'll just go the other way. There's a room over here. And we've already killed the eye that was floating around this area, so... No word from Balthazar. Let's read that little note. It's the same note as previously. A missive from Kethric, which says... What? Kortash, the tone of your recent letter is inappropriate. You may follow the Lord of Tyranny, but I do not answer to him or you. It isn't the fault of any of the Chosen that the artifact has gone astray. Unforeseen events occurred, as they always do. I acknowledge your planning mastery and brilliance of mind, but you lack the depth of experience that brings patience and composure. The artifact will be found. Our enemies will be thwarted. We will prevail. Now show us you're as reliable as well as brilliant. This room is... horrifyingly full of corpses and stuff. There's a disc that we need... Uh, disc is formed from slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. Need Lazel to read that. striking to look at, but you aren't sure what they mean. Using the cipher you found, you might be able to reveal the disc. Oh yeah, we have a cipher somewhere. Use the cipher. A pattern forms as you gaze at the disc, and from within that pattern, a story emerges. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. It's an intriguing tale, and a forbidden one, given how expertly it was encoded. Lazel will surely want to know of this. Couldn't have been that hard to figure out. Took us like 10 seconds. There's also a classed book. Let's read that one. This is a log on the work of one of Balthazar's necromancers, Cressa Bone Daughter, dated 210 days ago. After the state of the fallen one was in, I never expected Cressa would be able to save it. I was hoping the usurped thing would die. That's what it would have wanted. It's not as if Cressa studying it is going to prove much. 
who was damaged in the attack far beyond what a mere tadpole could do. But she seems fond of the foul creature. Let her play with it. Another entry seems to be written in this log, dated a ten day later. I should not have, in hindsight. Let Cressa keep her pet. Ever since it was shipped in onto one of the Nautiloids to be deployed, she has been inconsolable. It won't survive out there. It needs me. It isn't like the others. The feral thing will make a fine warrior for the Absolute, and now my best assistant is distracted thinking about it. Ugh. She'll come to heal soon enough. Purple Fluorite Shard Attention Acolytes. A reminder, acolytes are permitted entry to my chambers for the sole purpose of collecting moon lanterns. My library is not to be tampered with. While the Absolute appreciates your eagerness to learn, my bookshelves do not. Any requests to borrow from them must be given to me in advance and are likely to be refused. Should you desire information on poisons, do not think to read any tome on the subject here. They are inclined to grant more knowledge than the written word could provide. Remember, the Absolute's purpose is better served by a beating heart than a poisoned mind. Though if you choose death, I will ensure you serve her still. Balthazar's notes, eh? Note, install a drain beneath the library's conventional medicine shelf. It's wasteful to let all that blood seep through the flagstones, and it'll rust the spikes beside. A line slashes through the above in the same hand. Fresh ink below. Disregard. The smell gives me sweet dreams. <laughs> well, we know that it's trapped. the lever over here, which probably opens that door. Which definitely opens that door. Balthazar's personal notes, three. Any works by Mordenkainen must catch up on current events. No volo, better a century of ignorance. Hin vellum, holds ink like no other, could harvest from an acolyte? To be, I think it's supposed to be Skin Vellum, maybe? A new copy of Swift and Sudden Death for Library. Current volume badly scorched. Some crafting materials. So it said not to use the poisons and poison one. Hey and what was the other one? Hmm. Alright, we'll take a look at the rest of the room first and then we'll maybe figure that out. Open up. Easy enough to open. And what does it have inside? It has a derivation cloak. When you poison a foe, heal yourself for one to four hit points. It's not that particularly good, but whatever. So this will lead back out to that area where that guard is patrolling. I'm not quite sure what's in this room, but there is a way through to that room out this way. I think there's a weird dog in there, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, there should be a way to figure this situation out. So, musty tomes, let's try that. Ancient altar. It wants us to insert an item. Unclear as to what that is yet. Let's try conventional medicine next. Yeah, that hurt. Alright, what about galvanic interrogations? Attention. I can't move. What's next? She literally can't move for some reason. I'm ready. Cat's grace, blessing a saloon. What a charm. There's nothing stopping her from moving. She just literally can't move anymore. I think I might have broken something here. Send her to camp, send her back out, see what happens. Can she move in camp? No, she's Frozen in space and time. Hmm. 
She can't jump. At least she's not part of the group. Maybe if I sh Anyways, let's go. Well, before we reload, we'll just check the other one. That one brought back zombies. That one's gonna shoot the poison out, right? Yeah, okay. Well, we broke Carlax somehow. That's an interesting little bug. But we pressed the right one. I just don't know what to do to... Um, what we need to put in there yet. But we'll figure that out. It's gotta be something in or around the room, right? All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Oh, so we have hit the right one. It's the ancient altar. There are corpses around the room with hearts. Possible it's just mm -hmm. a heart-related puzzle. There's at least two hearts available. Let's try one. I don't know what's going to happen. Also, I'm going to summon those ghouls, I think, to kill them, but maybe worth some extra experience. Is this going to do anything? Yes, apparently it worked rather well. Secrets of the Necromancer. There's a little room back here. Some research notes. Let's read it. It says... I've redirected some materials from beneath the tower. I plan to simply raise what forces I need inside the mausoleum itself, but the general prefers that no more of his family crypts be disturbed. Even so, I may have no choice. The temple will not surrender the Night Song easily, and the general's invulnerability depends on it. I'm sure he'll forgive a little transgression if it frees the army to move on to Baldur's Gate at last. the night song is about the invulnerability, but we knew that already. Uh, a cold brim hat. Once per turn, any condition inflicted on a target also applies two turns of encrusted with frost. Very, very well. There's a bunch of broken moon lanterns the necromancer with... was experimenting on the tadpoles. A goblet with dead tadpoles. Yes, but they that were is... already imbued with Nethery's magic. So where did that magic come from? It was Gale the entire time. I'm going to take the Moon Lantern and see if there's a Pixie Debris in there. I'm not seeing a button like the other one had. Alright, I guess there's no Pixie to be found? Alright, well, let's move on. We can go to the other door on the other side. And then eventually we have to go do the Night Song thing, but let's finish this area first. I'm gonna go blow up that guy in the library as well if I need to. Ooh, that was a much harder door than I thought it was. I should have hit Guidance. I was, I've been so used to winning all the rolls that I wasn't even paying attention. We have plus 18, potentially. We got a critical success, so that works just fine. Let's open the door and see what's inside. There's definitely an undead dog named Squire. Do we speak with animals on? Yes. Even stripped of flesh, the warhound is formidable. Spectral eyes meet yours as it growls a challenge. And then it hesitates, gleaming muzzles sampling your scent as if in recognition. Let's stay still and let it sniff us. Suspicious, the creature leans in for another sniff. And for a moment, its tail wags, as if remembering a scent from long ago. Then the beast shakes its head, a ferocious warhound once more. Though perhaps not quite as ferocious as before. Let's offer up some food from our pack. We have the dog's lots of food. growl only deepens, echoing in the cavity where its stomach used to be. 
let's uh, try our animal handling ability, which we have okay rolls in. The hound relaxes, clearly accustomed to this show of deference within its master's chamber. It turns away and utterly ignores you, as it would any lowly foot soldier. It's such a cute little doggo. Alright, there's missives from Gortash on the table, or a missive, anyways. General, given what we know from my research about the Geth artifact, I can't emphasize enough how critical it is that it be recovered. The power that artifact contains can boost our own efforts to unforeseen levels, but if it falls into the hands of enemies of wit and persistence, it could bring down all of our plans and schemes. The body of our handpicked captain for the artifact raid wasn't found in the wreckage of the Nautiloid, and I'm not at all easy in my mind about that fact. Find the artifact. Employ rigorous means. Do not fail, Lord Gortash. Let's go. There's an unsent letter here as well on the floor. It says, Balthazar, thank you for returning what was mine. I have no doubt all will be well once the war is won. After that, I believe our business will be concluded. A different, different life, a better life awaits. There's a loose plank here with a book called Elder Brain Domination. I'm going to open up the opulent chest as well. Which has a cloak of elemental absorption and a letter to Kethrick, which says, My darling husband, I know time is drawing near. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave our little girl, but I'm not writing to lament our lot. It's ours and no others. Though the City of Judgment is dark, I know Our Lady's light will find me even there. I will see your shining spires and walk the silver gardens we both dreamt of. I go to my reward and leave quite a task to you, yet, my heart. Saluna's light shines bright in our little one, but she will need a guide to keep her on her path. I have no doubt she'll keep you on yours. It's the same path, Our Lady's path, and one day I know it will bring you both back to me. Only not too soon, I hope. I won't say goodbye. There is no loss, only temporary separation. How I love you. Forever. Melodia. Sad. Catherick's wife. She loved him. Apostle Diary. Most of the text has been scoured away by time, but what remains appears to be some form of ritual incantation. Your white ribs, the pillars, your bleached skull, the dome. Take on Apostle's final form, Cathedral Rot of Blessed Bone. There's also another door that leads somewhere. Let's lockpick it. DC 15 is a much easier roll. We don't really need all of our other things. There's a bedroom in here, unsurprisingly. And it's a mimic. I don't know why I charged into hit with Gale. That was very silly. Another day, another he has moon shield. Don't even know what that does. Well, Gale, you can just be in melee, I guess. Our weapons are on the ground. That's or our weapons are put are stolen. That is really not good. And save for the sacred flame, of course. Didn't quite kill it. We don't have much in the way of weapons on her at the moment, so I'm going to see what I can do with Gale first. Nine hit points left. One hit point left. Alright, you should have to hit it for one. There was a stained letter in here and it says my darling daughter when you were a little girl i'd often watch you play with your dolls and your cousins and picture myself an enormous opaque a silvery shield surrounding you protecting you i knew somehow deep within myself that no harm could ever befall you because i would not let it though the healers say i may pass into the city of judgment soon know this darling daughter i'm always around you i'm always with you and the moon maiden can never allow you to bear a burden that you cannot carry i love you forever a love that has no death mama it's also sad. Reverberation stuff. Garbage. Let's re put on our uh, 
crossbows that we got eaten. No time to rest. All right. Uh, we could go through here and fight this guy. Although I don't really see a need to. We can just go around the other way and not deal with them. You're stopped oh, by guard. we went the wrong way. It seems you're present. Well, let's just kill him then. It's time. I walked through the door. Was just, wasn't really what I meant to do, but at the same time, this is my happy place. Sometimes you just gotta put people down, I guess. I'm actually really surprised that eyeball didn't join the fight, but right. here we are. Okay. Need to find a way forward. So we've kind of done everything, I think, in this area at least. I think it might be time to uh, go back to the Night Song area and deal with that whole situation. Just gonna quickly look around this area before we go, if there's anything new. What does taking the groves off the table say? Dictated to scribe Yanthus by General Kethrek. Druids, meddling, and meddlesome. I have a history with them that makes me wary of underestimating them. They will certainly not welcome the rise of the Absolute in their vicinity and could become significant obstacles if we don't find a way to take them out of play. I speak here, for starters, of the Emerald Grove and of the Cloakwood Circle. They cannot easily be defeated without a significant diversion of resources, but they can perhaps be neutralized from within. Druids by the very nature do not smile, Yanthus. Or sorry, Druids by the very nature do not smile, Yanthus. Value the balance of natural forces over the welfare of humanity in general. And in the extreme, this is expressed by the faction historically known as the Shadow Druids, who favor complete separation of the circles from what they regard as the ills of civilization. We shall identify the current leaders of the Shadow Druids, cultivate within the gifts while intimidating them with threats, and encourage them to see that the wisest and most prudent course is for the Druid Circles to stand neutral as the Army of the Absolute marches on the blighted cities of the civilized. Disciple Zrel shall select an appropriate agent to parlay with the Shadow Druid leaders. Eventually all shall be infected with tadpoles. Hmm. Alright then. I think we're going to end here. In the next video we're going to go do the Night Song stuff and then come, I guess, fight this whole situation. Let's take a look at our stuff here. The path to the Inner Sanctum is open. The relic lies just ahead. We already have protection from the Shadow Curse. We have to decipher the books about Orpheus. Help Kithrag Voss in Baldur's Gate. Find the artist in Baldur's Gate. Find the Night Song, which we're on right now. Rescue the Grand Duke, whom I think is in Baldur's Gate. Rescue the Tieflings, which we did. Lift the Shadow Curse. We're working on that at the moment. Find Zevlor. Zevlor was captured by the Cult of the Absolute. His fellow tieflings claim he froze and tried to surrender. We should look for him. We haven't found Zevlor yet, actually. We should look around for Zevlor. It looks like there was a burgeoning Salunite resistance. And we haven't found Mole, which is irksome. I'll look around for Mole still. I haven't seen her anywhere, though. For now, I'll leave you here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Take care.